Dear President Gianni, ladies and gentlemen, dear young Europeans, it is a great pleasure for me to address you at today's event, Next Generation Fest, organized by the Tuscany region together with Giovanni C. I would like to thank President Eugenio Gianni for the kind invitation. Next Generation Fest is the largest festival dedicated to young students and workers in Italy. It is a two-day event designed for and by young people through the eyes of Generation Z. I'm delighted to see that you will discuss key themes for Europe, such as the environment, the digital transition, active citizenship and innovation. This is a festival that involves thousands of young people and so will offer you the opportunity to deliberate how to tackle the problems, demands and dreams of your generation, the one that will lead the Europe of the future. I would like to congratulate the region of Tuscany for giving voice to young people and investing in them through projects like Giovanni C, which promote youth autonomy. It is remarkable that since 2011, it has given an opportunity to over 440,000 young people to participate in such projects. Events like the one today are the perfect place to talk about the European Year of Youth with you young European innovators, entrepreneurs and youth leaders. 2022 is the year to listen to your concerns, opinions and ideas and involve you in policy making. Because you are at the heart of some of our most interesting initiatives. Investing in you means investing in the future. This is why we need to listen, support and involve you in policy and decision making processes. It is not coincidental that these three simple words are also pillars of the European Year of Youth. So, voice your vision. We are listening. Since the year is soon coming to an end, I will not talk about the European Youth Portal, our 100 initiatives there and the thousands of events that have been registered up until now. I suppose you are already aware of all this. I would rather put an emphasis on the legacy of the year. What do you think this legacy should be? How do you think can we ensure the year has a long lasting impact beyond December 22? How can we link it with the European Year of Skills 2023? I would like to inspire your discussions today with these thought toward provoking questions. I would also encourage you to make the most out of these discussions Take what you have learned and build on your ideas about the future of Europe. In the end, it all depends on the connections you make with other young people across Europe so that you can turn your ideas into reality. Enjoy this festival, talk to each other, learn, be creative and be bold. I wish you all a great event.